Okay, it's only six minutes. Oh, six minutes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kendall Rich, and I am your proud PTA sit. president yeah, and the Guys, presenter to kick start this evening. I want to welcome you all to our 2024 Winter what is Curriculum this Night. And I also want to thank all the staff and students who made tonight possible. Yeah, buddy. Let's start this evening by taking a quick look at our agenda. We will start with our PTA business, including our financial and our wildly important goals, our updates and events, and volunteers' information as well. I will then turn this evening back over to your wonderful teachers for their planned programming. Thanks for your patience. I promise I'm going to try to make it quick. I want to start off by saying a very big thanks to our EVP, Brittany McCauley, for all of her hard work. Not only did she overhaul the PTA website, which now has everything you could ever think to know about, she has helped make our new Spotlight newsletter possible, and she continues to be our Parent Square advocate alongside Mr. Bell, making sure our Parent Square transition continues to be a successful one. A shout out to our new family's VP, Katie Gunter, who is highlighted in our Spotlight newsletter. I want to also point out and thank her and her team because even the Magnet Office is applauding our impressive response from prospective parents. If you take a look at your screen, you probably already spotted two QR codes. The blue one is for our PTA website and the red is for our new Spotlight newsletter. I also want to remind everyone that Traditional Times is our weekly newsletter that comes out the first day of the school week, and it has everything you will need to know about the upcoming week and the events in PTS. Also, Parent Square, make sure to click the Read More under Karuba's Corner to expand the info when viewing it in the post view. Also make sure that you have your notifications set the way you want them to be notified. I've included the path to those setting page and a screenshot of the page. Make sure you've got it set the way you like it because you don't want to miss out on any important school announcements. All right, jumping into our financial update, our traditional giving was phenomenal and I want to thank Katie Russell and Crystal Burt for their hard work in making this year's TG so incredibly successful. We not only met it but surpassed our goal by 15% with a total raised around $115,000. Congrats to our fundraising VPs and to our entire school population for an outstanding campaign. Our corporate offerings is $1,700, and our other school income is a whopping $44,000. Congrats to so many awesome events this first half of the year. Our corporate sponsorships are around $6,300. And an exciting side note, a goal for the PTA is to increase this number by tenfold long term. Our intent is to try to alleviate the costs impacting our entire family population and the continual ask throughout the year. Moving on to our budget expense check-in, our children's resources is about 68% spent, which makes sense. A lot of those costs are run at the beginning of the year. Our educational needs, we have spent about 75%, also same situation. Most of these are expenses needed at the start of the school year. Hospitality and community events are at approximately the 50% mark, which also makes sense for those budget categories. When it comes to our traditional giving wildly important goals, we are making serious progress. Our house system is rocking. Our media tech space is outfitted with furniture and supplies with plans for technology in the future. If you saw Lion King Kids, I don't have to explain to you how incredible our cultural arts program is doing because it was stellar. Our PTA budget for all the fun and amazing things we do for our school is also well on its way. The last piece of the puzzle is our blacktop refresh. Discussions have started and we are waiting for warmer weather for plans to turn into action. Stay tuned. We have so many fun and exciting events coming up. All of this information is updated on our website and weekly in our Traditional Times newsletter. You can also sync your calendar 
with our calendar via our website and Parent Square. Special reminder that nominations close for Lois B. Lee this Friday, so make sure you get your nominations in. Okay, so all of those amazing events you saw on the previous slide, we can't have them without all the help of our amazing volunteers, so please consider lending a hand. Please keep an eye out for volunteer opportunities listed in the traditional times and take a moment to fill out our volunteer interest form on our website. Our goal is to make volunteering as accessible as possible, be it cutting out shapes for kindergarten teachers or serving on the PTA board and everything in between. I am very excited to be announcing our second annual fun run. Last year was our first annual fun run where we as a school hosted it ourselves and were able to keep 100% of the money. Not only did we do that, we doubled our goal. This year we kick off on April 8th with the actual fun run on April 24th. Our goal is $30,000 and please stay tuned for more information regarding our fun run ways and so much more. I can't wait to see all the fun things that are gonna happen this year with our fun run 2024. <laughs> okay, everyone, that's all for me. Enjoy your evening and thank you very much for your continued dedication to our MPTS community. Have a great night. <laughs>